Big Boomers. My plan today was to talk about social media and, and stuff, but actually my friend Gus got into a bad accident. I'm at Starbucks. I'm about to go to my meeting. We got into a bad accident. I haven't seen him in about, I haven't seen you in six months. I'm going to introduce you guys to him. I haven't seen him in six months. He had a heart attack. Uh, had surgery on his leg. Has no place to stay. Has no family. I'm going to do whatever I can to try to help him. And I think about the money problems and stuff I've been through. But you never know what life is going to hand you. And it's making me feel so bad for him. I'm going to stay in contact. I'm going to do whatever I can for him. But I just wanted to ask him some questions. Because he's still full of life knowing that his life is ending. And I pray for him. And I just hope things get better. We just have to look at life differently. And know that life is a blessing. To family. Say hi. Hi. Um, how are you feeling right now knowing that life has gave you all these different challenges? You got into a bad car accident, um, you lost your job, no place to stay. How are you feeling since the last time I seen you or what's going on in your heart and your mind right now? January before I have an uh, I, I accident. I uh, down in the parking lot. Uh, I have a heart attack. I have um, 500 uh, sugar in my blood. And I go to the hospital for two months. After that, I have uh, too many complications. And now, I have nothing. I'm living in the street. Uh, nobody killed me. Uh, I have five months of life. Jesus Christ. So yeah. with, with you knowing that, how do you feel about life right now at this moment? As we're in Starbucks, what what is your first thoughts about life in general? Yeah, I come here because uh, I don't like to walk, I don't like to walk in the, the street. I can do it. Uh, I come here for take a time and take something to bring. Any reflections about the fact that you know, I'm sorry not to cut you off, the fact that you know that you have five months, is that affecting, well, how is that affecting you mentally and physically? No, because it's it God saying, uh, I continue with this life. It's God saying, uh, today is fine. Oh, I'm so ready to cry uh, for you, and I feel so bad for you because you're such a beautiful, great person, and, and it's just it's unfair that this accident has changed your life for the worse. But like you, I said, you guys, to him, not to cut you off, I prayed for him. We have each other's phone numbers. We used to have each other's phone number. I don't know what happened. Uh, he's actually taken me places before. He's a really sweet, genuine guy. We buy coffee for each other. So to know that I, I'm not gonna say that, but I'm gonna keep praying for you and hope there's some kind of blessing change. Are you gonna be here later? I'm coming back later after my meeting. No, I, I, I say, I pray for God, and, and, and I want uh, another opportunity. To come. Okay. I have another opportunity for uh, life. Okay. God said yes. Gotcha. Okay, well, I hope you're here when I get back, but I'm going to stay in contact with you and try to bring you as much stuff as I can. God bless you. Hopefully you're here later. Yeah, this is God my Starbucks you. buddy, you guys. For I'm in Anaheim, California, by the way. And keep him in your prayers and his thoughts. I'm praying for him, and I, I'm going to help him as much as I can. And I just look at life as, you know what? I've been going through financial problems, but nothing. All of that I set to the side listening to not only him, but we have to take life as precious moments and know that we could be gone tomorrow or anything can change in a millisecond you know um so gus thank you for talking to my youtube family um i know they're probably going to have a lot of well wishes and prayers you guys i will be back later and hopefully we'll be back later when i come back from my meeting i should be back here about like uh, i'll be here about like probably five o'clock okay you're gonna be here okay say bye youtube family all right thank you gus and uh god bless you too and i'll see you later